Thank you very much for purchasing our uh, Vulcan 800 uh, bobber kits. Uh, our kits will also fit, I think, the VN400. So uh, let's get started on this. Uh, we're going to try to make this kind of fun too because it is a really a fun thing to do the install on these kits. So before you get started, there's uh, one thing I wanted to point out, and there's the little seat, that little roll around seat with a rope on it. Uh, make sure you have one of those because it makes the install so much more fun. And I'm going to show you how to tie the kickstand up on this before we get started because that's an important safety feature. So let's get going. I've looped that uh, rope around that little tab that holds the spring on down there. And then I've looped it also around the top there as you can see. Uh, whatever you do, just tie it nice and snug and make sure that it won't collapse back toward the back of the bike. And then that'll keep your bike from falling over. Because it's really important that you do this because, man, you don't want this bike to fall over. So make sure that you watch the rest of this introduction too because we're going to cover some real important things. So stay tuned. This is just a quick note about our new fenders. Uh, the fender that you'll see in the video is the older fiberglass one. So these are the new ones that you'll receive. Now they're a powder coated finish on them. So all you have to do is just barely scuff this and then they're ready to paint. Now if you do get the bare aluminum, uh, go ahead and finish that off with a, like a scotch bright pad or one of those pot scrubbers with a green 3M pad on one side. That way you can go lengthwise on it and get rid of all the little scuffs and scratches and use hot water and soap and then just go lengthwise on, the, uh, on that fender to get it to look like nice brushed aluminum again. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is that we still uh, are going to go ahead and use the strap. Go ahead and silicone that in place using the silicone sealant. Put that underneath before you put that on, just like in the uh, main video on the fender. And then we still go ahead and uh, mount that the same way too. So just a quick note on that new fender. One of the latest changes we made is this uh, rear strut. Now you notice the bottom is different than the video. This is the right hand side. And the reason we did that is because when you mount that down in there like that, this will give you clearance for the axle. So if you have to adjust the chain back, that will give you the clearance you need there. Then the other thing we did change according to the video is we weld the nut on the bottom side now, here. So, and then uh, that way it's much easier to install the screw. So you just basically slide that under the uh, fender and run the screw in there and tighten it up. And uh, you don't need the star washer anymore. We, we got rid of that. So this will be a lot, a lot better change on that. The nut is welded on the back. And then make sure that you use the Loctite. Make sure you use Loctite on this screw, on these two screws because you don't want those to uh, work loose and come off. So after you get the fender all adjusted and everything, put Loctite on those and that'll be a good safety feature. I'll go ahead and cover the front bracket real quickly. I'm going to cover this uh, bracket that goes on the front of the rear fender real quickly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see it down in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you the uh, bracket and how it goes. So hold on one second. Okay, these are the brackets that go down inside, and the main video will show you how to mount this, especially this horseshoe bracket. It'll show you how to mount this bracket. Once you get that in there, then what we want to do is we want to mount this bracket in, and it's a, we send a separate piece of paper to show you how to do this also. And that one basically will go mount to that one like that. Now what this does is this, wrap, this part wraps around the frame down in here, and it keeps this bracket from, say you forgot to loose, uh, tighten this up or say it worked its way loose. It'll keep this fender. There's no way that fender can rotate forward and, uh, you know, get stuck in the wheel there. So this is mainly a safety bracket. Be sure to use this and then be sure and put silicone in the bracket just as we show in the picture. Uh, that'll uh, silicone it onto that rail back in there and it'll keep it from coming off if you ever change the fender. Uh, and then I'm going to zoom in on this one more time to show you how it works there. So anyway, this is how it mounts in the bike, just like that. This, this wraps around the front, uh, that, that bar that goes across under there. I'm going to show you that one more time. And then pay attention to that piece of paper that we send in the kit. You can see how it wraps around the frame down in there. Silicone it in and that will work just fine. Oh, one last note. Uh, I uh, Go ahead and silicone that bracket in before you put the fender on and then uh, just put a screw there and let that sit overnight. That way you don't have to worry about trying to hold it all in place when you put the fender on. Then the next day, go ahead and put your fender on.